here for netbook news and today we're going to be looking at the XOPC. This is, you can see the little windows in the corner there, a Windows 7 tablet. We just go back to the XOPC UI and you'll find it a lot more touch friendly than what we have uh, going on inside a typical Windows 7 tablet. So here are some books. This is a glitch that I've actually discovered. The uh, bar comes up whenever I look at books, but this is the only segment of the um, the software interaction where I've discovered that occurs. You can see it's extremely responsive. So just upper left to go back. Actually, let's go all the way back. And look at some games. There's going to be a thousand games uh, that you're going to be able to access through the XOPC store. Fun little flash games, just little, you know, tiny little interactions. Oh, unsuccessful. So you can see here we've, we, can, we have the ability to kind of organize the different apps into different sections. You'll be able to choose um, how you organize your files into these different areas uh, in, 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 in the future, not quite at the moment. And there's a lot of learning apps that are going on. So if you're looking at this for a tablet for your breakfast table where you would like the kids to maybe play some educational games in the morning instead of watching TV, or you, you want to uh, read the news in your RSS feeds, if we just go into the XOPC store, where is it? Uh, in the reading section. Oh, where was it? Is it in web? Oh, here we go, news. So there's the New York Times and... Radio Canada there. These we can't download these just yet. The XOPC store is not avail is not turned on for download, but uh, the My Apps section is. So we can go through here and we can choose a number of. Um, we can choose this Brad Pitt app, and we can uh, make Brad Pitt even more beautiful than we would so desire. So, I mean, there's just a lot of fun, ridiculous things in here. So it's. You know, just little games. So you can see the game, the um, apps that I have open all stay on the side. Uh, they do have this radio app, which does have a lot of good channels in it. If I could have this on while uh, surfing all the other things, I would. But the reality is, is that YouTube might get upset and take down my video for having copyrighted music. So we're not going to do that for too long. Later, also, we're going to be we're going to be able to put uh, web links in. Um, into those circles, but for right now we just have you know access to Facebook, Twitter, I think Bing's in there. Uh, here we'll check out their skin. This is basically a skinned IE9. This is this is an issue. Right here, I, I, I definitely have some problems. Um, first of all, their, their customized keyboard is coming. Um, it's not out yet, obviously. Uh, the browsing experience is limited. There's not multiple tabs. It is definitely an issue. But the guys are fixing it. It's definitely something that they're aware of. But if you wanted to just toggle back over to Windows, you can definitely launch a browser. You can have multiple tabs, lots of things going on. Um, I like Chrome on a tablet because it has the extension. Um, yeah, but, you know, that's coming. Actually, there I am recommending that uh, how they can move Firefox or Chrome cache onto a RAM just to speed up surfing. So I think it would be great if they did that just because uh, the surfing experience is extremely important on a tablet. What else do we have here? Oh, I was just there. Sorry about that. I wanted to hit here. So this is the file browser. This is a great way to be able to look at uh, the files that you've loaded onto your XOPC. Um, you're able to play video. So this is the XOPC player. There's one major difference or one major thing that's lacking. There is no volume. But the guys are aware of this, and if you want to turn it up or down, you just quickly press, you can turn it up here. So it's not such a big deal. It's pretty easy to toggle over to change it. Let's close off a few of these apps here, because we're not going to go back and play those. So it's, it's pretty easy to close. Let's head back into the file browser. So let's go to my computer, and here's my SD card. So, we're able to also play music. Again, we can't adjust the volume, but it's pretty easy to go in here and turn it up. Let's see, let's, let's check out the sound quality.
just a little tiny, but it's not too bad for tablet speakers. I mean, really, it's not terrible. Mm. So, I mean, the volume is pretty good. Um, the sound quality isn't the best, but, I mean, that's really not bad for tablet speakers. I mean, it's a tablet. It's an 11.6-inch tablet. So let's uh, shut that down. I know that's by that those DJs, so I don't think they're going to come after me because they seem like pretty nice guys. So, we head back in here. Let's see. I can actually view my photos. Now there's no icons yet. This is, uh, I think this is actually one of the last things that they're going to implement. I think this is coming in uh, January or February. Let's pull these up. There we go. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, this is a little glitchy, but like I said, this is a very early prototype. If you're going to be buying this, you're probably going to be buying it for Christmas. And by December, a lot of these glitches are going to be ironed out. These photos are actually from Darren Murph from Engadget. And, uh, I kind of picked them because uh, Joanna actually has the other review of the XOPC up and um, I have to mention it because it's the only other review out there and I have to say that I really don't disagree with anything that she has to say. I wish I had more outrageous things to say, some outlandish remarks, of blatant disagreement, but the reality is is that in her review um, a lot of the things that she has issue with are things that they're working on to improve. Things like the file viewer, things like um, the volume, um, the map not being able to close. I mean, there's just a, well, this isn't working 100%, so why don't we play with something else while we're going on? I mean, it's little things like that that she tended to have issues with because right now it still is a work in progress. And there's a lot you can say about a work in progress, so that's why there are a lot of issues. But, you know, once it's done, those problems won't be around. So those are, you know, just a couple of, things that I think about her review. Um, I think she's completely correct. Um, here's another one of the thousand apps that I'm kind of into. I'm gonna put my bacon, my toast. So there's definitely a lot going on. There's definitely a lot going on in this PC. Uh, I think I've pretty much gone over most of the things that I wanted to say. Yeah, I think that's it. So this has been the Close Clap for Netbook News, uh, taking a look at the XOPC Windows 7 tablet.